Hello students, Namaste. Welcome to the class on the product design. In this video, the topics I am going to discuss are five step process to identify customer needs and its importance. Customer needs identification is the process of determining what and how a customer wants a product to perform. After generating mission statements from the product planning phase, the first step in product development process starts with the identifying customer needs. Customer need identification has two major goals. To keep the product focus on customer needs, to identify not just the explicit needs of the customer but also to identify the latent needs. Let us discuss five step process or method to identify customer needs. They are gather raw data from customers, interpret the raw data in terms of customer needs, organize the needs into hierarchy of primary, secondary and tertiary needs, establish the relative importance of the needs, reflect on the results and the process. Let us discuss one by one. Gathering raw data. The first step is to gather data from the customers. Without their inputs, it would be impossible to identify their needs. The data acts as a guidelines for product development team. There are three recommended ways to gather data. The first one is interviews. Interviews are one-on-one -on -one meetings with potential customers, usually one to two hours in length. Frequently, they take place in the customer's own environment as they are more comfortable there and there is a chance to see a problem in action. The second one is focus groups. Focus groups are like expanded interviews. They are about 2 hours long and they, they, and they involve about 8 to 12 customers. It is very common for the group to be watched by some number of unseen observers who take notes on the proceedings. Third one, observation. Seeing someone struggle with a problem is an easy way to get a general understanding of the issue. Watching customers use an existing product or perform a task for which a new product is intended is a perfectly reasonable, reasonable way to identify customer needs. Observation can either be passive, where one simply watches a customer work in their natural environment, or observation can be active, where one works side by side with the customer and gain an understanding of their problems and their perspective. The main thing is documentation. As a final comment on conducting interviews, note that there are several ways one can document the process. All interviews should be documented so that the information in them can fully be recovered. Depending on what kind of information is being sought, there are several options for documentation. Some of the more well-known choices involve audio recordings and handwritten notes but video recordings are still photography are also acceptable. Now, step two is interpret the raw data in terms of customer needs. After the interviews, it is usually necessary to translate the vague statements of the customers into a useful list of needs. How to transform what the customer says into something you can work with? Write the needs in terms of what the product has to do, not how it might do it. Express the needs as specifically as the raw data. Use positive phrasing. Express the needs as an attribute of the product. The third step is organizing needs. Group similar needs together, prioritize them and decide what is truly important to the customer define the critical needs those needs which absolutely must be met before the product can be considered successful let us consider an example of designing backpack 
here two important needs are identified they are backpack as a separate compartment for a laptop second one when the shoulder straps on a backpack are padded they provide comfort but when not padded they are painful out of these two needs need number 2 is a critical need because if it is not considered it may create dissatisfaction to the customers step number 4 establish the relative importance of the needs one of the most important functions that arises in product design is what product attributes are most important in the consumer decision making process in this step the relative importance of the customer needs identified are established by giving more weightage to the critical needs the final step in the customer needs identification process is to reflect on what's been done consider the statements that have been gathered and study the interpretations try to evaluate how the process was executed have all types of customers been interviewed do any customer require follow up interviews or any of the needs surprising identifying customer needs plays a very important role in product design correctly identifying customers needs is essential for ensuring customer satisfaction and loyalty if you fail to properly identify customer needs or if you are indifferent to their needs they will take their business elsewhere thank you namaste